everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super exciting video for you all. It's going to be a Colourpop haul. Everything that I'm going to show you now is going is literally $5 a piece. $5. So this is all the stuff in the box. I bought a ton of stuff and the box is super, super cute as well. It's got Colourpop on the inside and yeah, it's just super, super cute. So I just bought a ton of stuff. Like look at this box. Just look, it's like so full, so full. I'm just gonna pull random things out of the box and yeah. So the first ColourPop eyeshadow that I bought was in the shade Sequin. It looks like this. And I don't know if you can see, but ColourPop, when you first get them brand new and you haven't used them, they actually have a nice pretty pattern embossed into them, which I think is gorgeous. Um, obviously I haven't used this shade yet because you can still see that reptile print on it, but I am so excited for this one. This one is beautiful. The next one that I bought was in the shade Get Lucky. I've used this once, twice, once, twice. I don't know, I've used it before though. Um, I actually used it on Christmas Day. I'll link my Get Ready With Me video down below. I love this, it's absolutely beautiful. It's just a really, really beautiful gold color. And the packaging on these is really, really nice. It's just a screw lid. Um, that opens up to the product inside, which I like. And then they also have the peephole so you can see what color it is on top as well. The next eyeshadow that I purchased was in the shade Smash. The only bad thing about this one is it actually came a little bit broken and then it just fell out into the lid. So I had to push it back in, but it works perfectly fine. So I don't mind. And also these eyeshadows, they're not powder, but I don't think they're cream either. It's really, 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 really strange but I love them. The formulation is beautiful. And these do apply better with fingers opposed to brushes. The next shade that I purchased is On The Rocks, which just looks like this. I love this shade. It's absolutely beautiful. I've used it once and it is so, so, so pretty. The next shade that I picked up is in the shade three, just the number three. But this shade is super, super unique. It's like a silvery color, but it's a purple at the same time. It has like blue and silver glitters. It's so beautiful. It's so unique. I love this color. It's gorgeous. Haven't used it yet though, but I'm so excited to. Sorry if these colors get a little bit repetitive, but I did want to buy colors that I'd actually use. And if they were actually really, 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 really good, I'll buy more. And let me just tell you, I'm going to buy more. <laughs> Straight off the bat, if you want to know these are good, these are so ridiculously good. The next colour that I bought is in the shade Amaze. This is just a beautiful champagne colour. I think this would be beautiful for like, just people that just love an everyday champagne colour. I think it's really, really pretty. And if you see any of these eyeshadows or any of these lip lippy sticks that you want to see in future videos, definitely comment them down below and I'll definitely try and incorporate them into an eye look or a, a makeup look. The next eyeshadow that I bought is in the shade Mittens. I think this is a cute name. It reminds me of Kittens. I don't know why, but it does. It's just a satin brown color, like a mahogany brown. I really like this color and I cannot wait to use it. This shade is in the shade Bandit, which looks like that. I'm so excited for this color as well. This is definitely a bit more red and a bit more warm than that other color that I just showed you and that's also a satin. This eyeshadow is in the shade Desert. This is beautiful as well. I actually have it on my lids today. So, so beautiful. I adore it. It's great. And that is also a satin. I must admit the satins are very, very satin, obviously, but if you want that metallic-y foiled look, then their ultra metallic is bomb.com. This color I'm in love with, it's in the shade Game Face. This is so, so beautiful and so up my alley. I want to do like a bronzed goddessy look using this shadow because it's absolutely gorgeous. Eh. Oh, why? Okay, yeah, the glue on this one went all funky. Like, literally, it just fell out. This is strange. This is so strange. Well, that's what the color there looks like. I'm just gonna put it back in its home. I'm just gonna put it back in its home and pretend like nothing happened. This is in the color Truth. That was really, really strange how it just fell out of its little packaging, but whatever. Um, this is in the shade Truth. 
I think this is a bit more of a wearable champagne color opposed to one that I showed you earlier, but it's still a very, very beautiful color and that is a satin also. Now we have Cricut. This is an amazing, amazing purple color. It's so, so beautiful. Cannot wait to use this in like a clubbing look or something like that. I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous and it just has the most beautiful gold sparkles in it. Love it and that's just a metallic finish as well. And then the last eyeshadow that I bought and then I'll move on to lippy sticks. This has the cutest name and I had to buy it just because of the name. It's called Bay. B-A-E. If that is not the cutest name ever, I don't even know. But this is in the shade Bay. It's metallic and it is just the most beautiful dark purpley navy color with the most beautiful sparkles in it. I cannot wait to use this one. It is absolutely stunning. And then I bought just a few lippy sticks. You know how it is. So I'll go through each shade and then I'll probably do a swatch video sometime soon-ish. The first shade is Button. This is a satin color. These are very, very true to the stick. Um, stick form at least. And yeah. This is the shade LBB and this is a matte. I'm assuming that means little black dress. This shade is absolutely gorgeous. This is my favorite red of the moment. This is in the shade Bossy. And I use this for my Get Ready With Me Christmas look as well. So I'll link that down below if you're curious on how this shade looks. This is my perfect red. I love it so much. So much. This one is actually a creation from the lovely YouTuber Kathleen Lights. This is in the shade Lumiere. Lumiere? Lumiere? I don't know. But it's a matte finish also and it's actually what I have on my lips right now. I just love the formulation of these. These are amazing and the package of them, they're not flimsy. Like the caps aren't flimsy. They're definitely a more solid cap and they don't just randomly fly off. Because mm, that is not fun. If you've ever had that happen in your lip your lip bag? No. In your handbag, you know that that is not fun at all. Mm. So I also picked up the shade Brink, which is very similar but still different from the shade Lumiere. I haven't used this one yet. Um, it's a matte, but I'm so excited to. I picked up the shade purely for the name and the color is just an absolute bonus. This is in the shade Bitchette. It's seriously named after me. <laughs> like, is that a little bit vain? I don't know, but I love this. I love the name. I love the color. It's beautiful. I love it so much. This one, I think, is a collaboration with Coffee Break With Me. That girl. I'm not too sure of her name, but she's really, really lovely. Um, I love all of her videos. This is in shade Frida, and this is a satin. Um, this is kind of similar to Lumiere, but a bit more pink. This is in the shade Rocket, and this is also a satin. This one is a little bit more bright than what I would prefer, but I love it. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. So I did pick up this shade. This is called Dala, and it's a matte, and it is the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dark lip ever. I cannot wait for winter. This is going to be my everyday color. I wanted a black lipstick for the longest time, so I decided to pick one up considering they're $5 a piece. This is in the shade Bull Chick, and this is also a matte. Haven't used it yet, but I'm so excited to because I've been wanting to try a black lipstick for the longest time, guys. You have no idea. This one is also a darker color. This is in the shade Creature. Haven't used this one yet. It's not black. It's just a very, very dark brown, but I cannot wait to use this. And then very lucky last color is in the shade Punky, and this is a satin, and this is very, very bright. Very, very bright. Okay guys, so that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below your thoughts on this video as well as future requests. And yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.